Biltmore was built by a man named George Washington Vanderbilt. The Vanderbilt family made their money in railroads and in shipping, and George was the youngest son of this family. And so he fell in love with this area, moved to Asheville, started buying land, and then started constructing his dream home. It took around six to seven years to construct. And the house was opened officially in 1895. George was a bachelor, which is sort of hard to imagine given the size of the place. It's about 250 rooms, 175,000 square feet. A few years later, he met the love of his life, Edith. They were married in 1898, and in 1900, they had their first daughter. So really, Biltmore became a family home. To put Christmas together at Biltmore, it takes us a year. Okay, just go slow. Now wait a minute, Erin, let me adjust my fingers. We'll put our plan together in December, and by July, we're making the pieces that are going into the various rooms throughout the house and the rest of the estate. There are 68 Christmas trees. Each is hand decorated with carefully chosen ornaments. One tree in this room has 400 ornaments on it alone. Each year we do have a theme for Christmas. Although we stay within the look of the Gilded Age and what might have been here in George Vanderbilt's home at the turn of the century. This year the theme is the art of Christmas. In this breakfast room are two beautiful Renoir paintings. One is the Algerian girl, and the other is boy with an orange. So this tree has a very citrus feel to it. Christmas isn't always a red and green Christmas. All of these ornaments interpret the paintings. These are hand-blown oranges, this lovely little lemon slice, and then the citrus tones of these drops. This piece on the table is easy to put together on your own. It is a styrofoam cone in the center, citrus faux fruit wrapped in a pretty green ribbon, and then berries tucked in. You can scale it to your table. This is a pretty large table in the breakfast room of Biltmore House. We're in the morning salon. It's a room where the ladies might come after breakfast and just relax, but one of my favorite paintings in the house is this beautiful painting called The Waltz by Andrew Zorn. And that was the inspiration for our decorations in this room. So we have brought the swoop of the lady's dress into the fabric that is draped on the tree. So we have these graceful swirls that convey that sense of dance. It's a family tree. Children came to the parties in the evening, and then they would be shuffled off to bed, and then the dancing, the waltz, would begin. We're in George Vanderbilt's library. This was his favorite room. He was very scholarly, loved to read, and inside the library alone, there are 20,000 books. The rich texture of the ornaments, I think, is really what creates this tree. The tree decorations, are inspired by the colors of the book bindings, the rich golds and burgundies and blues in this room. The library was probably a little bit of an escape during the festivities of the holidays. I have this vision of George Vanderbilt and his dog Cedric snuggled up by the fire with a good book. This room is the Grand Banquet Hall. And this is where George Vanderbilt celebrated Christmas with his family and friends and his staff that very first Christmas of 1895. The rich red of the damask, the golds and silvers and blues and the tapestries all are brought into the decorations of the room. The Vanderbilts quite often would preside over the festivities in the banquet hall from a small table where they would chit chat with the families as they came up and talked with them. We also do have menu books from the 1890s on that talk about what was served for dinner. And we see little scratched out places where George or Edith Vanderbilt would make their comments. 
The towering tree was here in 1895, decorated just as it is today with electric lights. A lot of people have never even seen electric lights on a Christmas tree. I can imagine the staff coming in and the children being given gifts by George and Edith Vanderbilt. The tradition carries on, and that is the root of our Christmas celebration here at Biltmore.